English novelist John Galsworthy said, love has no age, no limit, and no death. However, I have to disagree to this statement, as we see that love is being constantly mistreated. As social standards of love keep constantly changing, our society also evolves different types of attraction, allowing individuals to choose their love partners. Although love is one of the greatest and most intense feelings that shapes our communities, it shouldn't be seen without much deliberation. Thus, having attraction for an innocent child is not normal. Neither it is natural to feel that all their adults have a child trapped inside their bodies. We will look at the new community that advocates loving children known as the MAP or minor attracted person. This is the flag that they identify with and we must be aware of this flag on social media and everywhere. Experiencing overall attraction or sexual attraction to a minor being the individual an adult is considered as pedophilia or pedophilic disorder. I am not the only one saying this. Indeed, I have proven base to say this. These people are called pedophiles according to the following characteristics. The first one is to recognize that an individual has a sexual desire for a child and recognize that the same desire is equally for more mature individuals. According to the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria, which is the book where all of the psychological disorders are defined, these individuals lack guilt, shame, or anxiety for having these desires for children. Indeed, they excuse themselves by saying that they're in love. A very common indicator or symptom is the use of child pornography that enjoy and satisfy themselves by watching children. According to the DSM, these individuals will never get a child attraction, but they can be controlled with constant and periodic therapy sessions. What the MAP community considers as love is not it at all. My question is, is love enough to justify pedophilic behaviors? Surprise, I have the answer, absolutely not. The LGBTQ plus community, which are defenders of love and equality, does not agree with this hoax. Indeed, they claim that this is a transphobic hoax created in an attempt to smear the LGBTQ plus community by linking them to pedophilia. They do not accept them as a sexual orientation. There has been some misinformation through social media. The MAP community claims to be accepted for only one thing, love. They claim that they are also free to love whoever they want. Thus, they claim that they are in love with children because they have a child trapped in the body of an adult, which is insane. How do they justify being a child if they have lived their whole life as an adult? To me, love is the purest feeling in the world. So if love is pure, honest, and respectful, how do the MAP community justify that they are pure souls as well? They want to dirty the souls of an innocent and pure child by loving them. But their definition of love in contrary purity is all about sexual desires. As still, the MAP movement seeks for social acceptation and legalization. We must not be fooled by such a thing as love is for everyone. Think about it for a second. Do you really want your child to be scared of adults? Because if you advocate that love is for everyone, you are including your own child. Therefore, we must not accept or legalize this movement and their ideals. Pedophiles have a very good advantage now, which is social media. They can easily communicate, look for their locations, and even organize events such as summer camps to meet with children. Also, they support for the legalization of child pornography and thus the loosening of age of consent laws. Indeed, they portray itself, themselves as, as defenders of adult children's sex as a right for children. We must always remain alert of what our children are doing in social media, what they're watching on TV or who they're talking to and so on, because these people exist and know exactly how to contact or find them. These people are diagnosed with a disease known as pedophilia. They're also excusing themselves by saying that they're in love, but their concept of love is not the ultimate truth. Neither of us knows it, but what we know is that having sexual desires for an innocent child is not right. Finally, they want to justify themselves by saying that they are children trapped inside the body of an adult, which I do not buy, they're just pedophiles. But as Anna Salter said, we mute the realization of malevolence by turning offenders into victims themselves and by describing their behaviors as the result of forces beyond their control. After all that I've mentioned, do you still believe that these people should be given an opportunity? Thank you very much.